Do you need help? Yes. Okay, mommy can help you. Hey guys, how are you all doing today? I'm going to have some fried spicy ramen. It's supposed to be spicy. Anyway, so I also have some um, beef and fried eggs. I have some cabbage and then the Chinese kale. This is the way I make uh, fried noodles. And also I have recipes that how I make them. I will post the link under this uh, video description. Anyway, and also I have some extra. Um, this one is called chili oil. It's like crunchy, so it's spicy. And also I like my food a little bit spicy. Most of every food that it is a little bit spicy. So I will add this on the top. Who is gonna be on fire, guys? Anyway, let's get started, guys. I'm so excited. Woo! Okay. Let's see. And this fried noodles guy didn't take so long to do it. Hmm. It tastes. Awesome guys, you should really give it a try. But the recipe that I have, uh, sorry, but the recipes that I have um, under this video description, it's only really, um, for one person. But this one to um, this one I did it for like two people. Hmm. It's all really, like spicy. So I'm going to add a little bit of this. In onto my noodles it's supposed to be spicy but I love spicy stuff because it tastes really good wow it's like Burning. Hmm. Oh man. Oh my man. This is spicy. Guys, to be honest, I'm I still have trouble um picking up noodles because the way I hold chopstick is really awkward hmm I will add a little bit more of this I mean I know when you're eating really spicy it's kind of hurts and also like make you cry and stuff like that but I like that because it's a good pain guys it's like sweat and it's really good if you're having colds hmm. so, like I mentioned before that I had really complicated pregnancy so I have to go with the c-sections that is only option they have to like save for me and also for my baby so this episode I'm going to talk about it anyway the c-section I didn't really feel so much you know because they already gave you some medicine and stuff but you're still awake but you're not going to sleep because I have a nurse uh, sitting like next to my head and keep talking to me you know just to like keep me going because at that time they didn't um, allow my husband to go in the room yet so leave me in the room all by myself with the doctors and then there was a nurse just sitting there and then just like try to talk to me keep me awake they don't want me to go to sleep so I was awake the whole time the c-section I didn't really like feel so much except I feel the pressure on my belly that's all I felt so and then it went it lasts about 30 minutes I think maybe 35 and then stuff like that and then um, we stay at the hospital for four days and then I got up to walk I just couldn't make 
I just couldn't make even two steps, guys. I, I almost fall down again because my legs, it just feel like it's nothing. They just feel so light because you didn't walk for like a few days. You cannot really laugh or sneeze after you had the C-sections because it hurt so bad. It hurts so bad. Because after I had the C-section like a few days, I decided to go on Instagram, you know, check out some stuff because... And then I found one page that was really funny and I didn't, I didn't expect that. It's gonna hurt me so much if I laugh that hard. So I saw it and I laughed so hard and then after that I like no why did I do that why but then I'm just like well I didn't know at first so well then after that I knew it The fried noodles is like, it's so good. It's really, really good. But anyway, in my own experience, this section is really hard after the procedures because um, you going to recover from the surgery so that is really difficult um, and also please don't I I mean like I join a mom group sometime, uh, on like a Facebook or something some people they always posted it like peep, they always posted and ask question they said it a mom that had their baby through c-section is not a real mom that made me really mad because sometimes we go into c-section it's it just emergency for your own life and for your kids life so and some people they don't have a choice for natural birth so they have to go with the c-sections even sometimes it's emergency emergency c-section it's like when they try birth you know natural birth few times and then it didn't work out but they have to go with emergency c-sections so every time someone told you that they had C-sections while they like, you know, deliver their baby, you cannot just give them a look or you cannot just like say that it's not a real mom. No, every woman goes through the same during pregnancy. It's a 9 months and 10 days. And then we all go through the same thing. We have the morning sickness. If you're lucky, you probably don't you hardly walk you hardly sleep and you hardly eat you have trouble like almost everything it just everyone went through the same thing so you cannot just come by and say a c-section mom is not a real mom what do you mean it's not a real mom so during the nine months and ten days she didn't do anything else just sit there and like relax and enjoy herself and then just go into a c-section hmm. Anyway, guys, I think I'm getting full. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video and then stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that way every time I post it video you guys can get a notification and we can hang out together. Thank you guys again for hanging out and supporting me. Have a good day and we'll see you guys again in the next episode. Bye guys!